What we're going to demonstrate today is the use of Microsoft Cognitive Services, the free service, to analyze your text and to get a sentiment analysis. Now, this can be used for a multiple different sources of text. You can be looking at Facebook posts, Facebook comments, Twitter comments, LinkedIn comments. You could be looking on feedback from questionnaires. And in this example, I'm going to be looking at a sentiment analysis for the reviews that have been left on my online courses. So to use the service, you need to sign up for the free account, get started for free with Microsoft Cognitive Services. And when you sign up for your free account in APIs, you need to go to Text Analytics. And when you're in Text Analytics, you need to select Get Started for Free. And this will then give you a Text Analytics API, and you get a 5,000 transactions per month. Now you get that for free. And each transaction can be composed of a group of 1,000 messages. So that really means you get 5 million messages that you can run through your text analytics for free using Microsoft Cognitive Services. Now when you have your API key, you need to copy your API key because you're going to need that in a later stage when we're in Power BI. So here we are now in Power BI and what we have is our text, which is our comments or my rev the reviews that I have received. So we have text that we want to be analyzed. Now the text that you want to be analyzed needs to be named text. And each field of text needs to have its own unique ID column. You also need to make sure that there is no duplicates in the text and that there's no blank rows and you need to make sure that's all set up and the data set up correctly so Microsoft Cognitive Services can actually work. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take a duplicate of our sentiment and I'm going to say sentiment run just to put in here for the moment and this is where I'm going to run my sentiment analysis from. But the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a parameter. So I'm going to select new parameters and this parameter is going to be called API key and down in the current value I am going to paste the API key that we got for our text analytics and Microsoft Cognitive Services and I'm going to select OK. So now we have this API key set up in here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new source and it's going to be a blank query. And when you say blank query, go to advanced editor. So you have this large screen. Now this is the query editor and this runs on a language called M. M is the programming language behind this query editor in Power BI and in Power Pivot. Now you can get a copy of this code. I'm gonna paste a code in here. But if you hop over to my website, you can get a copy of this code that you can paste in directly yourself. And also on the website, there is a cheat sheet for you to download. So you have all the steps so you can follow signing up and setting up for Microsoft Cognitive Services and running a sentiment analysis. So once you paste in the code, you can press done. But before I press done, what this has done is it is going to the web contents it's going to the Microsoft Cognitive Services Analytics Sentiment. It's then using, with this row here, it is using our API key that we set up as a parameter. Now you need to make sure this field here is exactly the same as your parameter name. So caps have to be in the same place and so forth. And once we have this in, what we can do is press done. Now we have a query, and this query is basically a function. So we go to our sentiment run data, and we're going to set up our sentiment run data so it is in the correct format for Microsoft Cognitive Services to read. So to, for it to be in the correct format, it needs to be in a table. You need to send a table of data over to Microsoft, and this isn't fully in the correct format. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a column and we're going to add an index column. And we're going to change our index column from standard and we're going to divide integer and put in a thousand. 
So what happens now is the first thousand messages will have an integer divide of zero, the second thousand will have one. We mentioned earlier that Microsoft Cognitive Services allows you to send 5,000 calls to their service, but each call can be grouped into a thousand messages. And this way we can group each table into a thousand messages and not get errors for there being additional messages. So next what we need to do is we actually need to group by. And we're going to group it by this inserted column that we have for our integer divide. And we're going to just call this a new table. And the operation is going to be all rows and select OK. Now what we've done is we've grouped all of that data into a table. So we can get rid of this column. And with our new table, if we go to add column and select invoke custom function. Now it's asking us which query we have. And we've only one query set up here, which we didn't rename, but we really should do on the new table and select OK. Now that it's actually gone to Microsoft, it's sent it off to Microsoft and it's received back this query one. So I'm going to now remove this table. I'm going to expand query and say OK. And now we have two lists. We have a list of errors and we have a list of documents. You can run a second query to look at your errors separately, but I'm going to remove it now and I'm going to expand to new rows. And then again, I am going to expand again. And what we have found is we now have a score for each post ID. With the score that you receive back from this Microsoft Cognitive Service, so they run this machine learning algorithm in the background. And the score that you actually receive is going to be between one and between zero. So the a very, very positive score would be very close to one and a negative score would be close to zero. So if the sentiment is positive, it's close to one. And if the sentiment is negative, it is close to zero. You can then use this to visualize using different visualizations in your Power BI, in your visualizations chart. But that's basically how you can run a sentiment analysis for text that you have. Don't forget the text can be Facebook comments. They can be feedback from questionnaires or surveys. It can be comments from your blog that you have. If you want to visit the website, you can download a PDF with a step-by-step -step instruction of how you can set yourself up and run this text analysis to get a sentiment result. You can also read details about it on my website, but you can download a cheat sheet and there is no email or anything else required to download it. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it the thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any feedback or any comments, please do post in the comment section below the video. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. Here at the Excel Club, I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. We have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialized Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps. And there's links below the video, so please do explore them. We also offer custom Power BI and Excel solutions. So if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard, then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.